To be independent of public opinion is the first formal condition of achieving anything great. Genuine tragedies in the world are not conflicts between right and wrong. They are conflicts between two rights. Truth is found neither in the thesis nor the antithesis, but in an emergent synthesis which reconciles the two. When liberty is mentioned, we must always be careful to observe whether it is not really the assertion of private interests which is thereby designated. People who are too fastidious towards the finite never reach actuality, but linger in abstraction, and their light dies away. Once the state has been founded, there can no longer be any heroes. They come on the scene only in uncivilized conditions. America is therefore the land of the future, where, in the ages that lie before us, the burden of the world's history shall reveal itself. We may affirm absolutely that nothing great in the world has been accomplished without passion. History is not the soil in which happiness grows. The periods of happiness in it are the blank pages of history. The state of man's mind, or the elementary phase of mind which he so far possesses, conforms precisely to the state of the world as he so far views it. History in general is therefore the development of spirit in time, as nature is the development of the idea as space. No man is a hero to his valet. This is not because the hero is not a hero, but because the valet is a valet. The one who merely flees is not yet free. In fleeing he is still conditioned by that from which he flees. Wickedness also resides in the gaze that perceives itself as innocent and surrounded by wickedness. It is easier to discover a deficiency in individuals, in states, and in providence, than to see their real import and value. The very fact that something is determined as a limitation implies that the limitation is already transcended. Everything turns on grasping and expressing the true, not only as substance, but equally as subject. The important question of how poverty can be remedied is one which agitates and torments modern societies especially. <laughs>